Before I go into the word, I'd just like for you to just stand and sing with me, just maybe one or two stanzas of this song for you. But this here, right? Oh, Thank <laughs> you. 
I think you are really in the light. I think you are really in the light because like, I feel the confidence that you will say, I will say of the Lord that he is my refuge and he is my strength because there is therefore now not condemnation in my heart because I know where I am going. You know him. Yes, sir. He is my refuge and he is my fortress. My God, in him will I put my trust. God, and God doesn't have confidence in you. Just be quiet. We, we start losing, we can't, God start losing the confidence that he has with us. When we start going away from the principles of God. And when we start going away from the principles of God, we can't say on the say of the Lord that He is my refuge. You are not resting in God because you are not abiding in the laws, concepts, precepts of God. So how can He be your refuge? How can He be your strength? How can He hide you in the secret place of His pavilion when you are not a part of the fold? So get our actions together as children of God and say, I am coming home. Because I see the writing that is on the wall. Our prodigal son are coming home. Are coming home to dwell in the secret place of the most high God. Surely, surely, <laughs> the church will understand. Surely, surely, he will deliver them. From the snares of the father and from the noise of the distance. What more we want to hear? What more we need to hear? All we can do is trust God when we can trace Him. And when we trust God, so all you got to do is trust God. So we don't want to hear nothing. Or you know what the problem is that we. We spiritual people, and I say we because it's all of us. Because all and every day we sin in words, thoughts, and in deeds. We, we, we sometimes, I mean, when God gets us over our hurdle, you know, we think we reach where we're supposed to go. And we start becoming like a desical in the presence of God. And then God will start ripping down the blessings that He will have put on you and call us stone. And then you just ask yourself, but how am I getting defense when somebody do me this? How am I getting defense when you ever ask yourself, self, mm, am I trusting God enough? Am I trying God enough? Am I saying the word of the Lord is a light on feet and a lamp unto my pathway? We got to start questioning ourselves when we realize that we are not in the dwelling place of the most high God. Because there's something that we're doing, taking me out of the dwelling place of the most high God, that we can't get a shadow, which is our defense. We can't get a shadow, which is our protection from God. So when you're open and bare, just know that God isn't near. When you're covered, you gotta be this. You must be rooted and grounded in the name of the Lord. You must be rooted and grounded in the name of the Lord. And you can't get to a Oh, Lord. 